Greetings, Lego friends. And here it is. The mock church is done. Oh, yeah. I think there's some um, little odd uh, details I could add to it here. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy um, with this thing. Um, started with um, parting out one uh, clock tower and then uh, one of the Harry Potter Great Hall. But um, obviously used a lot of my own um, pieces. Every time I reached for a piece um, that I needed um, in my own stash, I said, wait a minute, look at the Harry Potter sets and make sure there isn't some, either the same piece or some um, some way that I can make it using the Harry Potter pieces instead, right? That was the idea. But in the end, I uh, used a lot of my own pieces. I have this still left from um, the clock tower. That's quite a lot. Along with all the minifigures, of course, and then all of this remaining from uh, the, great, uh, the Great Hall. I was hoping I could use this spiral staircase, which is pretty cool, uh, from the Great Hall. But in the end... Uh, no luck. So, um, at any rate, talking about um, just mocks in general, I I haven't done a lot. As you guys know, I've done uh, the hospital and then the park area. And the park area was just fun. Um, no problem. But this one, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to actually do it. What I knew is I wanted to integrate some... Uh, key details from uh, the church that I attended where I grew up. And one of those was this wheelchair ramp on the, the left side here. And in my church, the slope was a lot less. It went two different directions and then up to the stairs. But of course, I have to compromise uh, some space here. And what I knew I wanted was a big entryway where a lot of people could gather. Uh, and I'm really happy with this. So um, as you know, I started with making these stained glass windows, nothing too fancy, um, but they get the job done there. And then um, I ended up making two mills plates, 32 by 32 and a 32 by 16. But even that uh, became rather interesting because when I made this big entryway walking up, in order to be down at the ground floor, I would have to have the same step down inside. And I decided I don't want to do that. Um, that'll just take up a lot of space inside that I felt I needed. So I didn't want to do that. So what I ended up doing was on this mills plate, just for the interior of the church, I lifted up all the gray plates that you see here. And I added another block just inside there on top of those and then put these plates back on top. So inside, I have just a short step down uh, from... The entry doors here to the main floor right and then you can see a lot of the harry potter uh, parts here the windows these front doors it just hit me um in a brain blast to add these um, as crosses on the front doors real happy with that um, but again i had no idea how this thing would develop and i had no plan i originally thought i'd have all three of my stained glass windows along the side of the building but once i started building this thing I ended up with these two spaces left and right, and I thought, you know what? That would be a good spot for two stained glass windows. And this side, since I'm going to have this double door anyway, um, I'm not going to want a stained glass window right above it. Uh, looking at it now, I probably could have, but I'm happy with this um, decision the way it is. So that's that. This front thing just kind of came about by accident. I just needed something to kind of block where this spire would sit here. And then um, these angels I just mocked up literally maybe a day or two ago, thinking I need something in these spaces. I was trying to close these spaces up, and then I thought, wait a minute, that would be a great spot for a couple of um, angels up there. A lot of options with uh, things to do up there. And then the big challenge after all of that, of course, would be the roof. And I just went with the simplest uh, form that I could come up with. Most of these gray plates were in the Harry Potter sets. I had to add some and I had to beef them up inside. And then the biggest challenge was filling in these gaps at the front here. But I managed to get that done. That was probably the last thing I had to do to finally say, hey, you know what? I think I have this thing built. Uh, and again, I could probably add a lot of details, but 
happy with this. I had these green windows and I thought, you know what, this will let a lot more light in as it sits. So I'm happy with that. But these are all from uh, the Harry Potter sets. In fact, a smaller version of this is the back side of the Great Hall. So I just expanded on it um, to make this a little bit bigger. And then this was convenient. This was in uh, one of the sets. I ran my wiring out for lighting on this side. So I still need to add lighting on uh, the right side. So I just put an order into Blinky Bricks um, to get those lights coming. But there it is. And yeah, I'll give you a look um, inside because it is kind of funky. Um, again, I had no plan. In fact, I wasn't really thinking much about the interior because, um, as I've said in most of my mocks, I just want to get, I just want it to look like um, the building that I'm trying to build. I want that to be pretty obvious. Like you look at it and go, yep, uh, that's a church right there. All right. Whoa. All right. Very good. So this was the main goal, but I was building the interior as I did um, the exterior as well. So here's one roof panel. I've got it on a couple of hinge sets there. And then this one comes off real easy um, with uh, just one hinge uh, there. See if I can get some light in here for you. So yeah, there we go. There's that funky blue um, spiral staircase. I don't really have it supported like I probably should um, down here in the middle. Um, and again, I had to compromise my church pews. Grabbed a uh, one of the books from one of the Harry Potter sets there as the Bible. Uh, got some cup there for the wine. I haven't really trapped my wiring for my lighting. I put in a little um, um, piece there in front of the double doors just to keep them from opening. They just keep swinging open. So I've got a... Um, um, yeah, one of those pieces there, the, what is it, light trans green from uh, Star Wars lightsabers there, just to keep the doors from swinging all the way open. They actually had those on the pad wall, and I grabbed a handful of them. These stained glass windows, I didn't fill in and, or around them or anything. I'm not too worried about that. And then I have uh, this section up here for the chorus group. That's what I wanted to have, the choir. Uh, church I grew up in had a beautiful choir, a little balcony. Um, so I wanted to put that in there as well. Real happy with that. It was, um, in the midnight hour almost when I came up with the idea of these cheesy slopes to help hide the gap, uh, for these, inter this interior roof area. There was just an awful gap there. Um, and there's still a little bit of a gap here and here. Um, but I can live with it. And, and in these pieces too were an afterthought just to help hide some of that gap. And then I'm so happy I've got a spire in here. Combination of pieces from both sets, plus I think um, one of my circular pieces there to make um, this spire. So very happy with that, this um, tower there. The only thing I don't have then that I really would like to have, of course, is a spot where you could see a church bell. That would probably be the last detail that I would really want to have, right? But that's it. Pretty sparse in there. I thought about tiling all the floor, but I thought, no, nah, that's just silly. Uh, this is just going to go into the city. It's going to sit um, beside the city park, I believe. I think that's really my my goal there. Um, I think that's going to be the best spot for it. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And then I still have to make now um, the graveyard that will sit uh, right beside it on the right here. So I have... Um, 16 by 32 and then a smaller one uh, for the front so it matches all of this i don't think i'll have it physically attached to that but just sitting beside i was so excited about having this church done today i kind of forgot that i still need to make a graveyard on the right side that was something that i really wanted in my church i guess i don't really need it when i think about it it's just something that i always kind of wanted to do to have them together but um, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on it, maybe make it. But who knows if I'll actually add it or not. It might seem kind of out of place. In fact, the churches I attended growing up, we did not have a graveyard um, near the churches. They were in town, which um, this church right now really is. It's, it's kind of in town, just beside the city park. Uh, let's hook up the lights on the one side. You can see that. 
So I just placed another order over to Blinky Bricks um, to get more lighting so I can finish um, lighting on the right side. Aha. There we go. Very good. Yeah, that was part of the goal there was to get those um, stained glass windows to light up really nice. I might have to do something to get more lighting in the front here, but I'm really happy with that. So that's it. Mock Church actually accomplished. It's a miracle. Uh, or maybe divine intervention. I'm not sure which because, yeah, I had no plan. The only thing I knew I wanted was this nice big entryway. Um, otherwise, I really didn't know if I was going to get this thing done, but it is done. Going to work on the graveyard now, put a graveyard on the right side, and then we'll um, we'll see how that goes and uh, get this thing into the city besides the park and move on to something uh, newer and, and uh, just as fun. So thanks so much for stopping by. This is Life's a Brick. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. More stuff coming at you. Hope you had a great weekend, and we'll catch you on the next one.